Years ago, I heard T.L. Osborne talking about a, a woman, a woman preacher named Hattie Hammond. He went to a camp meeting. This was before he was, he was pastoring, but it was before he ever saw miracles. <clears throat> and he went to Hattie Hammond's meeting, and she preached a sermon that he never forgot. And that sermon was called, You Must See Jesus. And she said, there's three ways you must see Jesus. First, you must see Jesus in the Bible. You must see the real Jesus in the Bible. Second, you must see Jesus in a man, in a person. You must see him, how Jesus lives his life through a human, through a, through a person. And she said, and then third, you must see Jesus in you. And he said, I've never forgotten that. And I have never forgotten hearing him talk about that. And it was after that that he and Daisy went around the world and saw all the miracles they did. Now, I'm telling you these things for this reason. We're in a time and a place, and many of you may be sick, may have some issues, different things going on. But you've got to look past that. You've got to see you in this book. You've got to see you living his life. In Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 20, a lot of people say those verses weren't in the original text and that kind of stuff. That's not true. They were quoted by every early church father for the first 300 years. So they were in the early text. People that say that don't believe in the power of God today. <clears throat> now, I would challenge you, because what does it say that we'll do? Well, it says that we're going to speak in other tongues. It says we're going to cast out devils. It says that we're going to uh, lay hands on a sick, and they will recover. So it gives us all of these things that it says we're going to do. But the funny thing is, when it says heal the sick, cast out devils, matter of fact, in uh, Matthew, was it uh, Matthew 10, I think it is? Um, it actually says heal the sick, raise the dead, you know, cast out devils, heal the sick, raise the dead. And then he says, freely you have received, freely give. What does that mean? That means go cast out any devils you see. Go heal any sick you see. In other words, don't pick and choose who deserves it. That means freely you've received what? The name of Jesus, the power of Jesus. So freely give it. Don't pick and choose and decide who needs it. All right? 